you're going to find that matrix algebra leads to some very nice generalizations for derivatives. And that's not all. Let's look at the example of a quadratic function, something called a quadratic form. Given a square matrix A and a variable X of the appropriate size, then the quadratic form associated to A is the function of X given by X transpose times A times X, which you could think of as the dot product of X with the vector A times X. Now my claim is that the derivative of this quadratic function is the linear function given by X transpose times quantity a plus A transpose. And we're going to derive this step by step using some of the rules we know. First of all, to take the derivative of a dot product, the dot product of X with A times X, we're going to recall the fact that the derivative of U dot V is U dot the derivative of V plus V dot the derivative of U. Substituting into this, where u is equal to x and v is equal to a times x, we get the derivative of this quadratic form as x transpose times the derivative of a times x plus ax transpose times the derivative of x. Okay, now these derivatives are not going to be hard. These are both linear functions of x, and we recall that the derivative of a times x is a, and the derivative of x is simply the identity matrix. So we get x transpose times a plus quantity ax transpose times the identity matrix. Okay, now to take care of that AX transpose, we're going to use the fact that the transpose of a product is the product of transposes in reverse order, remembering that from volume one. And now substituting that in to that AX transpose, we get a final answer of X transpose A plus X transpose times A transpose. Factoring out the X transpose on the left gives us our answer. Now, is that weird? No, that's not weird. That's not weird at all. If you consider the single variable version of this, what's the derivative of a times x squared? Well, of course, it's 2a times x. But in this higher dimensional case, where a is a matrix, then 2 times a really becomes a plus a transpose. Isn't it cool how that works? But, but does it really work? I mean, let's think about it, let's look at a particular example. Let's say a two by two case where things are easy. Let's say that A is the matrix given by two, negative one, nine, three. Then let's build this quadratic function directly in the case where the variable X is the column vector X and Y. Then what is F of X? Well, it's um, this XY transpose times A times xy, multiply that out, and you're going to get 2x squared minus xy plus 9xy plus 3y squared. And, and no surprise, this is called a quadratic form because this is giving you a degree 2 polynomial in the variables. Now, to compute the derivative directly, you can check, take the partial with respect to x, partial with respect to y. You get 4x plus 8y, then 8x plus 6y. If we pull out those coefficients, pack them into a 2 by 2 matrix for 8, 8, 6, we get xy row vector times that. And from the formula, computing a plus a transpose gives us precisely that matrix, 4, 8, 8, 6. You can check it. That works out. This quadratic formula for a derivative, really useful. Don't need to memorize it, but it's a great example.